So now you've reached chapter five and you've heard how work is changing, how it has changed over the course of history. You've heard the implications of the change on societal level. You've heard the implications of the change on the organizational level. And you've heard the implications of the change on the individual level. We've given you this in all the chapters that you've already been through. The beginning of chapter five will gather all the main takeaways from the previous chapters. And in the end of the chapter five, we discuss then the sort of ways forward from this. Because as I said in the beginning, we don't exactly know how work will look like in the future. Nobody does. But we do know that the quality of work in the future, the sustainability of work in the future, depends entirely on how well we can tackle all these challenges presented in this um, course and how well we can do that on all different levels, societal, organizational and individual levels at the same time. So I really hope that you've now been given enough tools to start thinking about this and think about how can I go forward, how can I, what can I do in, my, in terms of my own work. If you have an organizational leading position, what can I do in terms of leading people? And if you have a societal position, a possibility to have an impact on, on policy making, how can I make, start making better policies in order to support the future of work?